Hi Capricorn, this is your reading with me for March 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So we're going to have a look, see what's coming through, what messages, information, clarity, energy we have for you, surrounding energies and also the outcome as well. I do that because I'm going to do four cards for each aspect and I'll explain it as we go through. And so let's have a look and see what's coming through for March. Also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention store is on Etsy. So there are some lovely handmade items on there. Um, it's Moonlight Tarot Store on Etsy. Link will be in the description box below. Um, check out the review section to see how people have seen results with these items because a lot of people have seen their manifestations come to reality, um, which is really, really lovely. Um, so they're on there, there's beaded bracelets, necklaces, anklets, there's also embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow and your wallet or your purse. There's pom-poms, tassels, there's also um, divination coins, pendulums, charms, letters, uh, things that you can use, printable tarot cards. Um, there's also face masks, etc. I mean, there's so many items, so just, you know, have, if you have a bit of time, have a little browse. Um, so that is pretty much on there. So let's see Capricorn, what is happening on your side. Four of Swords with Justice. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. A lot of peace, right? Things being resolved is my, what, what I'm getting here on your side. It's like, you're just done with like BS, you know, you're done with things that are triggering and really just very overwhelming. Like you're just, you're just like, I need my peace. I need my peace. I need my prosperity. I need my personal balance. Like I just, you know, I just, I need that. Four of cups. Yeah. See, you're in your own world, you're in your own little bubble, because this is your side of things, right? The Four of Swords is about resting, retreating, meditating, praying, taking care of yourself, um, solitude, justice, in your own bubble, making your own life. It, it's basically about just making things come together for yourself and taking charge of your life. The Four of Cups as well, being in your own bubble, doing your own thing, putting energy into yourself. It's just a vibe, you know, it's a real vibe. And I think that that is just so significant. Empress. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, so. Really what's happening here is that there have been things that have been unresolved, right? And it's almost like you're thinking to yourself, okay, those things have been unresolved, but there's so much more I can do with my life. And that is really what you're seeing here. And also those unresolved things, as soon as you stop caring about it, which I know sounds so crazy, that's literally when they get resolved, which is why the peace comes through and then justice comes through, is that if you're ruminating and worrying about all of these unresolved things, it just doesn't get resolved and it just causes you more stress and further disrupts your sense, like your state of mind and your peace. But the minute you do things for yourself, the minute you start to just rest and take care of yourself and you stop ruminating on these things that are causing you a lot of stress. And look, I'm not saying stop thinking about it because you will think about it, but it's just about doing less of it, right? So directing more of your energy towards towards other things and more, more towards peace and perhaps sleeping better and things like that. The more... The, the hand of karma is trying to resolve these things. So, you know when they say, oh, things happen when you least expect it, that's literally what's happening here, um, is that, and you won't believe that this is what's coming, but this is literally what's coming, right? Is that justice is allowing things to get balanced. Justice is allowing things to come together in your life when you li literally don't care about it, right? So this is you being in your own bubble, doing your own thing. And that's literally when your blessings are starting to come to you. Things that have been super unresolved are starting to become resolved. The energies are much lighter. There's not so much stagnant, you know, heavy energy around that's like stopping all of these uh, blessings from manifesting. 
now it's starting to become much more balanced. The better you feel within yourself, the more peace you have within yourself and around you, the more these things are starting to come together. And I know it's really hard to do, but that's also how the law of attraction works, right? When we're so obsessive over something, it doesn't usually come to us in that moment. It comes to us when we have acceptance towards whatever's going on for us. And we're just like, okay, I guess back to work. Let me just do my own thing. And then boom, out of nowhere, when you least expect it, that's when things start to come together. So, you know, I really do feel, especially with the surrounding energies here, March can be quite emotional, but emotional also in a good sense where you are feeling your vulnerability, you're accepting certain pains and situations from the past, but you're you're flowing through it, right? You're living through it. See, um, you see this Queen of Cups, her hair literally flows into the water. It's just about accepting um, and, and sort of living through it, you know, especially for those of you that have gone through like hard hardships, heartbreak, for example, grief as well, is that time really is the healer. And it's about flowing through it, not trying to, you know, suppress your emotions. And that's really what I see here with the Queen of Cups is it's just about accepting the flow of life. And that is also what is allowing you to feel better from within, but also allowing other things to be resolved in your life, especially areas of your life where you feel like I need that area to come together you know so love career the home life finances oh, got the magician there as well got mercury energy now mercury is not in retrograde in March thank goodness it's a great thing you know um, so that means that communication with others is much smoother it's most m more simpler communication with yourself is also much better as well which is why the energies are so much lighter we had a mercury retrograde in February it was heavy because it was in the sign of Aquarius six planets were in the sign of Aquarius at that time, which has not happened for 60 years. So with the sun also, you know, because in March, the sun is not going to be in Aquarius anymore. With that energy comes also a really powerful, powerful vibe of things just feeling lighter. You know, um, not saying that Aquarius is bad, but when you have a planetary thing like that it causes a lot of rumination especially when you've got six planets in one sign a lot of rumination especially because of the Aquarius energy right and it's triggering us to heal but it's also very intense especially when you have that Mercury retrograde as well luckily though in March you haven't got the retrograde which means that it's triggering much more peace so I really feel like things are so much better and it's almost like you don't believe that this is what's coming but it is coming okay so more peace is coming more progression is coming more things are being resolved so long as the inner work is also being done right there is the condition Condition, there's a condition even with the law of attraction there is always a condition right and the condition is try not to stress too much try not to ruminate too much do you know do things that make you feel good try and forget about what you're trying to manifest because it's literally going to happen when you least expect it and when you're in this really like calm state of mind okay so you've got the knight of pentacles so your blessings are coming okay they are pending they're coming doesn't mean they're not coming they are coming they're on their way try not to stress capricorn you got this sending those positive vibes <laughs> no really so that's the thing isn't it oh sorry 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 that was like really loud these these cards are not um the soft like cardstock so whenever they like hit the table they like really make a noise and when they hit each other as well okay so we've got the queen of swords here and we've also got the king of pentacles so see it's all coming knight to the king here shows that your blessings really are going to manifest i mean for it to go from like the knight to the king is pretty significant, right? In terms of home life, in terms of um, love, career, like things are getting so much stronger for you and it's happening bit by bit in March. Also, Queen of Swords here is about boundaries. It's also about victory. It's also about stability and it's also about success. So that's also coming your way as well. Okay, so hold on to your energy, you know, do what's best for you. And um, that just allows the universe to give more to you as well. And also gratitude as well. That really helps to bring more onto the onto your plate. Now you've got the King of Swords here in the outcome with the Nine of Cups, okay? So your wishes are coming true. Your wishes are manifesting in a very strong way to give you more stability and more security. It's also about um, making sure that you are communicating your needs across as well. That's, of course, very important. Um, you've also got a King and a Queen of Swords here as well. So it can be communication with someone to make sure that you're on the same page, which is interesting. Um, you've also got the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands here, really powerful, powerful energy, which is um, definitely to do with, again, thinking about things, but not like excessively, like this is not the Nine of Swords, right? The Nine of Swords is like hand in the, sorry, head in the hands, 
just, you know, it's, it's really intense. This is more so like, hmm, I'm thinking about this, thinking about this, okay, I'm thinking about some ideas, you know, it's thinking, wondering, pondering, contemplating, very different to like ruminating and overthinking, right? A lot of these cards came out, and I'm going to take all of those. Um, so let's see what the last card here is. We've got these two nines, which shows that things are pending, okay? Things are going to manifest for you. They are pending, they are literally manifesting. Come on, last card. It fell on the floor. What will you be? Any guesses? Any guesses as to what this card is going to be? Ooh. <laughs> we literally just spent a pretty long time talking about this energy, to be honest. So I'm not surprised that it came out. But it's the star card. It's Aquarius energy. See, Aquarius is helping you. Um, it is helping you. I know that I said, like, oh, you know, the Aquarius energies have been heavy. But, you know, it, it also depends on, like, where the sign is right and obviously in February it was in a very like heavy place well things are lightening up so this Aquarius energy is behind the scenes helping you because it's still going to be in other planets you know it's not going to like completely just disappear but it's helping you to heal it's helping you to grow it's helping you to prosper it's also about abundance faith um keeping hope as well and so it just goes to show you that you won't believe what's coming all the energies around you are helping you it's a work in progress and it is about potential and it's about movement and resolving things and taking the path of least resistance right and not making things overly difficult for yourself so that's really what we see here is that things are coming together and uh, you won't believe that it's what's coming but it is coming right so that is your reading if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, um, intention items are on Etsy if you're interested, and take care everyone. Bye!